guys, I'm Jenna. And I'm Bree. Here are your announcements for Friday, December 6th. There is a boys basketball game on Monday, December 9th at 4.30 p.m. at home versus Ferndale Middle School. There will be an NJHS meeting after school from 3 to 3.30 on Tuesday, December 10th. NJHS students also be sure to check out your Google Classroom for some upcoming volunteer opportunities to sign up for. Dentist R.S. will be here on Thursday, December 12th. Please continue to bring in your blue schedule forms if you are planning to have your teeth cleaned. There is another boys basketball game next week on Thursday, December 12th, away at Royal Oak Middle School, starting at 4.30 p.m. Go Trojans! There will be a musical assembly on Wednesday, December 18th at the high school. The band and choir students will be performing under the direction of Ms. Zahn and Mr. Kuhn. Do you play the piano, guitar, bagpipes, or the violin? Would you like to show off your musical talent? Any student who plays an instrument is welcome to audition to perform on stage. We encourage holiday music. Get in the spirit. Sign up in the office by Thursday, December 12th for the chance to perform. There will be an activity night next Friday, December 13th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Admission costs $4 with your student ID and $5 without. If you're interested in joining the Broadcast Club ELT and creating video announcements like this one, please come see the office and get an application to see or see Miss Ritter for one. Applications are due by Friday, December 13th. We'd like to wish a very happy birthday to the following students who have an upcoming birthday. Happy birthday to Isabella, Esar, Christine, Paxton, Joey, Destiny, Samaya, Bailey, Ashley, Miss Williams, and Elijah. Happy birthday! At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, that's all for today, CMS. We'll see you again next week. Have a great weekend. Now, over to Brooke. Hey, CMS. I'm Brooke. We're here with Joke of the Day. This is my special guest, Josiah. Hey. Here's my joke. Why does Alice ask so many questions? Why? Because she's in Wonderland. <laughs> Here's my joke. Why is, what is Peter Pan's favorite restaurant? I don't know. Wendy's. <laughs> That's funny. That's it for Joke CMS. Bye. Bye. Hi, CMS. I'm Lynn, and welcome back to Lynn's Library. The book that I'm going to review today is called Stick Dog by Tom Watson. Just like when I reviewed Harry Potter, a lot of you have maybe read this. But just in case some people haven't, this book is about a dog named Stick Dog, who's named that because, as you can see, was drawn like a stick person, except he's a dog. And his dog friends are hanging out in Picasso Park when all of them start to smell the scent of people grilling burgers somewhere near. They all are fascinated by the scent and determined to get some food for themselves. Stick Dog leads his friends on a quest to snag them, only to find out there was no need for that quest because the people willingly give them some burgers. This book is really good if you like animals, food, and really funny pictures and scenes. I rate it a 10 out of 10, but if I could rate it further, I would because it was really cute and funny. Thanks for tuning in, CMS. Now over to Jenna. Hi, CMS. I'm Jenna, and I have three fun facts for you today. Fact number one, the word mosquito is the Spanish and Portuguese word for little fly. Fact number two, every second, four babies are born into the world. And finally, fact number three, the coldest temperature ever recorded in the world was negative 144 degrees Fahrenheit in Antarctica. Thanks for watching Fun Facts. See you next week, CMS. Hi, I'm Eli, and I'm going to review some stats of our Detroit teams. On Wednesday, December 4th, the Detroit Pistons played the Bucks, and they lost 127-103. 
The Pistons' next game is today, December 6th, versus the Pacers at 7 p.m. The Detroit Lions played on the Bears' Thanksgiving and lost 20-24. The Lions will play again on Sunday, December 8th, versus the Vikings at 1 p.m. The Detroit Red Wings played their Islanders Monday, December 2nd. They lost 4-1, and their next game is Saturday, December 7th, versus the Penguins at 7 p.m. That's all for our Detroit Sports Update. Now over to Brand Teasers. What has an eye but cannot see? Put your answer in the comments. Last week's riddle. Why did the turkey join the band? He had the drumsticks. Familiar, you're familiar.